Hey, Vicky. You said you wanted to help me, right? Well, I need you right now. Let's God go. sakes, keep your voice down. Jesse's what? trying to put Chloe down. No, we need now. to go now. This is very important. Why? Who's after you now? No, I'm going after custody of my kids. While Blair's in a coma. That's disgusting, even for you. Michael, she's awake. Yeah, but she's a little groggy and disoriented. Can but... we go in and see her? Yeah, but let's keep it one at a time and kind of brief, all right? We don't want to overwhelm her. Uh, okay. I think Star should go first. Grandma, are you sure? Sweetheart, you're the one she woke up to see. Come in. Hey, I, I'm sorry to bug you. I know we covered samples yeah, earlier. Yeah, I, I put a rush on them. You did? Yeah. I mean, after the David Vickers paternity test grew up, it's the least I could do. Oh, we appreciate it. No problem. I'll go uh, check the results for you. Yeah, I was kind of hoping that he'd say the results would take, like, forever. Jared, are we just nuts for doing this? Sweetie, clean DNA samples of both Star and her baby just sort of fell into our hands. It's like we're doing what we're supposed to be doing. Right. Right, so any minute we're, we're going to find out, beyond a shadow of a doubt, whether or not Jessica is raising a baby that isn't hers. Hi, Brody. Hey. Come in, come in. Uh, you said you wanted to be friends. I sort of need a friend. Did something happen? I, I got a call from the lab, the bone marrow thing. I'm not a match. I really wanted to do that for Shane. I can't imagine what you must be going through. I, um, I know I should be grateful that Matthew is alive. And I thank God for that every day. But I just can't help know how compromised this life is from Ella. I know you. You'll tolerate your own pain and focus on helping your son adjust to this. All right, this isn't a sympathy cause, so why are you here, Taya? Marty has asked me to represent Cole. That's because Blair's in the coma that my kids need me. Star is 17. She's practically an adult, and I think Jack and Sam have had enough upheaval in their lives. So I should leave them with Dorian. I may be Dorian's severest critic, but she could not love those children more. More than me? God, I don't understand you. Weren't you there when Jack told me he wanted me to be his father again? Yeah, I was there. I heard what he said. But you're not doing this for your children. You're doing this to hurt Blair. Hasn't that poor woman been through enough? Mom? Hi. Mom, hi. I'm right here. Where am I? Where am I? You're in the hospital. Happen. All you have to do is let Rex go, Gigi. Shane will be okay. So what's it gonna be, sis? What's going on? How's Shane? Uh, he fell asleep. But check it out. Chemo boy versus the evil leukemia. Great, huh? Yeah. I walked in on something between you two. What is it? Why don't you tell him, Gigi? Is it Shane? No, it's Stacy. She was trying to make a deal with me.
you've been asleep for a really long time, but you're awake now, and the boys, the boys are just fine, but they really miss you. You, you tell them that you love them and you miss them. I'll do that, okay? Love you, baby. When do you think we should tell her? Tell her what happened to her? That Todd's trying to take her children. Blair's in a coma, for God's sake. Kids are scared to death, Vicky. Well, aren't the doctors planning to bring her out of the coma soon? Oh, well, then I guess the kids can just hang out with no parents until then. Todd, you have a restraining order against them. Yeah. You're not even allowed to see them. Not anymore. What does that mean? It expired. I can see him whenever I want. Well, th what are you doing here? Why aren't you with Sam and Jack? I, I was just with them. Dorian had me kicked out. And you know that the minute Blair's back on her feet, she's going to have that restraining order reinstated. No, you don't know that. She uses those kids to get even with me. No, she's trying to protect her children because you have repeatedly endangered their lives. I, uh... I've been seeing a shrink. And, uh, took an anger management course. Yeah, I know, I'm trying to change. Do you remember what you told me after I tried to off myself and I was having trouble recovering from that? You told me to start with my kids. Well, that's what I'm doing. This is not a power play, I swear. My kids need me. And I need them. So are you gonna help me or not? You know, um... Kids his age are usually really afraid of illness, and most grown-ups treat cancer as if it's contagious, so, you know, who knows how many of his friends are showing up for him right now? I don't know what I'm going to do if he doesn't make it. You can't think like that, Brody. No, I have to. I have to be prepared. For what? What if I can't handle it? A deal? What kind of deal? Stacy wants us to bury the hatchet for Shane's sake. His recovery is all that matters right now. So, Gigi's supposed to be okay with you slipping me a Mickey and then lying about it? I would never do that to you, Rex. You have to believe me, okay? You know what? You're right. We gotta squash all that. Focus 100% on Shane. I'm with you. That's why I told Gigi we really need to start acting as a family. We need to do everything in our power to save Shane. Starting with finding him a bone marrow donor. I'm going to check to see if there's been any matches. I'll go with you. Uh, Rex, do you mind if I just finish my conversation with Gigi? It'll only take a minute. thought everything was settled. It is. Um, go ahead and I'll, I'll catch up with you. There for a minute, I thought you were going to rat me out. I wanted to, but I couldn't do it. All you have to do is tell Rex the two of you are through. Or Shane's going to die. Oh, you weren't supposed to be back till tomorrow. I oh. didn't say that, didn't I? Yeah, you're stupid. I'm glad you're home. I'm never going to let you leave me again. Do you understand me? What? What's wrong? Talk to me. Tell me. Do not stay. What do you mean you're not staying? This case I've been working on, honey, has gotten bigger. Much bigger. I've asked to be a part of it. So then... You're just going back? You're leaving us? You make it sound like I'm going to be gone forever. Why? Because it's become personal for me. And you can't, can't tell me anything about it because it's classified. Classified I get, but is there another reason? Do you not, do you not trust me? Am I the reason? You're the reason. I'm the reason. Christian, Jamie, it's all of us. How could a case that you're working on be dangerous for all of us? Oh my God. It's my father, isn't it? You're trying to take down my father. Oh, he can finally put Carlo away this time. Forever. 
You cannot go back, okay? He'll kill you. Just, just walk away. You can handle it. Whatever happens, you can handle it. You don't know that. You know the truth about having that little boy in a room and you're not confusing him for Shane anymore. But if Shane dies too... Listen, he's not going to die today. You know that, right? And that's all you can do. You gotta take it one day at a time. Is that what you do? Well, I try. You know, I'm in control now, but it might not always be that way. If something horrible happens... Like when your <laughs> husband... Yes, yes. Um... I could lose control, and, uh, I'm okay for today. How do you do it? Well, I don't have a choice. I'm a mom, you know? Chloe and Brie depend on me, and I depend on them. Do you want to hold her? Come on, the worst she'll do is suck on your arm or <laughs> spit up on you or okay. something. <laughs> there you go. You remember Brody, huh? Hey, okay, little girl. <laughs> Chloe are Jessica's life, you know, and I think for Jessica, Chloe was the last beautiful thing that she was able to make with Nash before he died. And now what if Chloe isn't hers and what if her baby is really dead? We don't have proof yet, okay? Come on! We both know the best switch those babies. Well, why don't we wait till we have confirmation? So you were tossing and turning all night long. Yeah, well, you know what? I, I just feel like I haven't slept in a million years, you know? I, I just keep thinking. And you know, maybe we should just, we should put a stop to this and, and leave things as they are. I mean, Star didn't even want to keep her baby. What about Michael and Marcy? And just because Star didn't want to keep her baby doesn't mean she wanted her baby dead. You know what, Jared? You were the one who wanted me to drop this in the first place. I know, but we can't play God here. We don't get to decide who knows what, okay? We tried that before. It blew up in our faces, remember? All right, well, what if this is different? We are in too deep, Natalie. We have, look, I know this is weird coming from me, a moral obligation. To what? Break my sister's heart? Send her right back into St. Anne's? You're in luck. Results just came back. Cole despises you. Yeah, he wasn't that into the idea at first. But you talked him into it, I bet. No, he hasn't officially agreed to let me represent him. Nora kid is extremely remorseful. He's not a kid. He's an 18-year-old man. And you want to prosecute him to the full extent of the law? Well, guess what? That's what he wants, too. Okay, you know what? We'll just save it for the courtroom counselor. I didn't come here to upset you. I know why you came here. You wanted to feel me out, a little ex parte communication with the victim's mother. I know you're suffering. I, it is not my intention. You're trying to manipulate me, and it is your intention. Dorian, Why don't you just take it, because I think we're done here. Listen, I am trying to take cases for the right reasons. Well, that's a first. Look, Cole made a life-altering mistake. No, he made a mistake that altered the life of my son. Cole is not a criminal, Nora, and you know that. Now, he could spend the rest of his life in prison, but who is that going to serve? He is in trouble, and he needs help. Asking is that you think about what justice really is in this case. Honey, my prayers are, are with you and with your family, whether you believe it or not. Dorian, what do you want? If Shane dies, they're going to have to bury me right beside him. Do you get that? My son is everything to me. And I'm offering you a chance to save him. Am I trading your bone marrow for the love of my life? I thought, I thought Shane was the love of your life. You know, you really are going to have to choose, Gigi. Who's it going to be? Rex or Shane? You're loving this, aren't you? We're talking about Shane. Mom and Dad's grandkid, their blood runs through his veins. So we're all related. Big whoop. Who are you? I'm the girl Rex should have been in love with. Oh, you can't 
make Rex love you. It doesn't work that way. Why not? You made him love you, and you're not half as hot as I am. Hot? I made myself irresistible for Rex, and believe me, he noticed it. Oh, yeah, yeah. He was so into you that you had to drug him to get him into bed with you. You know what, Jeez? You're just wasting time. Your son is upstairs right now looking for a miracle, and I'm it. All you have to do is convince Rex that you're not in love with him anymore. He'll never believe that. Well, you need to figure out a way to make him believe it. Now, do we have a deal or not? <gasps> not. You sure about these results? I told you, okay? We had the whole system upgraded since what happened with David Vickers. I guess he's David Buchanan now. And uh, the results of uh, both your brown mare screenings came back, too. Um, unfortunately, neither of you is a match for Shane Marasco. I'm sorry. Shane. No turn back now, is there? We'll handle this. Together. Stars baby. And the dead baby in St. James Cemetery is Jessica's. <laughs> Hi. Hello. Thanks for listening. Of course. It seems like whenever I've got stuff going on, I I still want to talk to you. Well, um, I found a match and I truly believe that Shane will too. I hope you're right. Do you want to go see him? Oh, the kid's probably got a million people around him right None now. None of them are you. The badass Navy SEAL that he was proud to call his dad. And I know that he's even prouder to call you his friend. I want to go. Do you want me to come with you? Mom support? Oh, you got this little girl to put down <laughs> for her nap. Are you kidding me? <laughs> Have you heard her? I think those little divas vetoed that idea, haven't you? Do you want to go see your cousin Matthew and pick up big sister Bree on the way home? Huh? You, you don't have you don't have to do this. Well, if you want to go alone. No. Well then, let's go. Yeah. Come on. All right. All right. Maybe you are doing this for the children. But Todd, to initiate this while Blair is incapacitated is not going to win you a lot of sympathy. Vicky, I'm just trying to take care of my kids while their mother is ill. What's the, what's the problem with that? You didn't hear a word I said, did you? I need your help. <laughs> I needed your help? When Jessica had a breakdown and I was half a world away and didn't know about it, and Tess was trying to, to torture Natalie, I needed your help then. Yeah. Jesse and Natalie needed your help. Okay, okay. I screwed up then. I was out of my mind. I'm not out of my mind now. So you say. I don't oh. Blair is never going to forgive you if you do this, Todd. Well, tore my ticket with her a long time ago. What about your daughter, Star? She needs to know she has a father. Who's going to be? Who will support her mother as much as humanly possible? Are you choosing Blair over me? I am choosing sanity over chaos. Try it sometime. All right, forget it. I don't know why I even asked. Thanks for nothing. She's getting better, and I don't know why I'm crying. You know, it's hard to see her like that. Yeah. She asked me what happened to her. What'd you say? I just told her that she fell down and, and hit her head. I, I didn't want to tell her the rest yet. That was good. You did a good start. What? When did she wake up? Has she said anything? All right, well, I want to know who's in there with her and every word out of her mouth. She's going to be okay. How are we going to tell her what happened to her? She asked you to? Yes. 
John. She asked to see you. that walks through that door, John. You were attacked. Someone stabbed you. What are you doing here? You know what? Forget it. I don't care. let you know that I won't be representing Todd anymore. Oh? Yeah. I just saw him leaving. I, I assume he told you that he's going for custody of the kids. Did he ask you to, uh, to testify for him? I think that's what he was going to do. But... Taya, the idea of suing the mother of his children for custody while she lies unconscious in a hospital makes me sick. And that's what I told him. Probably why he looks so upset. Yeah, well, he just said, you're choosing Blair over me. <gasps> you're either with him or you're against him. And I won't engage with him on those terms. Good for you, Vicky. Good for you. Why don't, why don't we go in the library, huh? Okay. Uh, look, honey, after what Carlo did to you and what he did to my brother, I, I knew I was going to have to deal with him. You didn't say anything about this to me. Hey, we've been on borrowed time ever since he came back into our lives. You know that. He'll kill you without a second thought. If I let him get a jump on me, I'll be working with the feds. Nothing's going to happen to me. Okay, you can say that to your mom, but this is me you're talking to. I'm not stupid. Things happen, especially when my father's involved. I cannot believe you set this whole thing up and said nothing because to the me. Whole, the whole case came up so fast. If we want to have a minute's peace, I have to do this. I just got a message from Dorian. Uh, asking me to represent Blair in this custody thing. And I'm thinking of taking her up on it. Are you? Todd's not going to like that. I can't keep getting him out of these messes he gets himself into. But isn't that what lawyers do? It just... It takes too much out of me, you know? Because he's not just another client, is he? You know, the last time that he walked away from me, I thought, good riddance. The man defines self-centered, arrogant, thoughtless, screwed up. I mean, his issues have issues. And yet, underneath it all, buried so deep that it rarely surfaces, there is a heart. I know him. I know what he's done. I know what he's capable of. 
and I should be disgusted by it. And you're not. No, I'm not. You're still in love with him, aren't you? <sighs> I'm falling fast. How am I gonna tell my sister that her baby's dead? Sweetie, we'll figure it out. Natty! What is it? What's wrong? Oh, uh, we just found out that neither one of us are a bone marrow match. I'm sorry, Rex. It just means the world to me that you guys got tested. We're gonna find someone. I know it. I have the bone marrow that can save Shane's life, and now you're telling me you don't want it? We'll find another match. I'm Shane's aunt. I I'm his blood relative. Oh! So now you remember that. You're not going to find a better match. Shane's doctors are checking with bone marrow registries all over the world. Well, I'm standing here right in front of you. Yeah, blackmailing me to get what you want. What I deserve. I saw Rex first. Oh, God, do you have any idea how crazy you sound? A little boy is in there fighting for his life. Well, I'm fighting for mine, or at least he would have been if you hadn't ruined it. I love Rex. I'll never love anyone else. This may sound extreme to you. It's not extreme. It's evil. You're evil, Stacy. You're always gonna have Shane. You'll meet somebody else. You'll start a new family. God. You're out of your mind. You're psycho. You're psycho, Stacy. You're psycho. You need me. Your son needs me. And you're gonna give up, Rex. Listen, I'll go check on Blair and Matthew while you're in Shane's room. Okay. Thanks for coming with me. This whole being friends thing, it's not so bad. Yeah. I'll see you later. Okay. Hey, Brody. You here to get tested? Uh, I already did. I'm sorry, man. I'm not a match. Um, I wanted to drop by to see Shane, if, if that's okay with you and Gigi. Of course it is. Yeah, he was asleep, but he's probably awake by now. i will be psyched to see you. Make sure you ask him to show you the new comic book he's drawing. I will. Oh, wait, Rex. Do have any leads on the match yet, or...? No. Not yet. But we will, I'm sure of it. Okay. I don't want your poison in my son's body. I'll find another donor if I have to go door to door. This offer won't last forever. If you think I'm gonna wait around this little podunk town for you to make up your mind, you got another thing coming. When you don't find a match and you come crawling back to me, I won't be here. Now, is that a risk you're willing to take? I can't believe I just said that out loud. I'm falling in back in love with Todd Manning? That is insanity! Well, love can be that way. <laughs> but Todd doesn't love me, Vicky. You know, he loves, he loves Marty. <laughs> he loves Blair, too. Well, Blair's the mother of his children. Oh, it's more than that. I've seen the two of them together. When they fight, it's like foreplay. Todd will do anything to stay engaged. Including suing for custody? Oh, well, there's no question he cares about his kids. But? But with Todd, no good intention goes untwisted. <sighs> Taya, if you decide to represent Blair in this, are you not directly insinuating yourself into their foreplay, as you call it? Well, that's not why I would be doing it. Look... <sighs> The reason I would represent Blair is in an effort to break the cycle. To alienate Todd and prove to yourself that you've moved on. Maybe. Honey, how does sitting a few feet away from Todd Manning in a courtroom, how does that qualify as moving on? Have you ever thought about telling him how you feel? Sorry about your kid. Star. Hi. How's your mom? Uh, she 
She's... She actually just woke up a little while ago. That's great. Yeah, it is. I got to talk to her, which made me feel a lot better, but she's still weak. John's in there with her right now. You must be so relieved. I was just glad to hear her voice again. Michael says that, uh, she should be okay. Thank God. I know. <laughs> Things look like they're gonna be getting better. She has gotten so big. I know. <laughs> you know, she's kind of taking a resemblance to, uh, Aunt Vicky. Everybody says that. Definitely looks like the Lord's side of the family. Oh. You know, I bet you're getting tired of hanging out around here. Yeah, but I don't want to go home just yet. I was thinking more along the lines of you, me, Chloe, hospital cafeteria, my treat. Let's go. I was stabbed. Dorian found you and got you to the hospital. They operated and everything turned out well, but you must have hit your head when you fell. What do they know who did it? I was hoping you could tell me. I wouldn't be doing this if I didn't think I had a great shot at taking him down. Fine. Then I'm gonna come with you. They won't allow it. Who won't allow it, Bo? The fence. They think your father will get to you besides that is such crap. you. Honey, then my daughter needs you. Okay? Now that's me talking. Yeah, but she needs you more. You think I want to leave my daughter? I want to protect her. So I need you to stay here. Look after her. I'll be back as soon as I can. I love you. I don't like this. But I understand why you're doing it. And I love you too. Telling Dodd how I feel, he would laugh in my face. Maybe not. You're the only one I can talk to who understands Todd. <laughs> who knows how hard it is to love him. It's even harder to stop. Oh, I've written my brother off more times than I can count. And then all of a sudden he will do something incredibly, surprisingly human. Yeah, when you give him another chance. See, now I can't figure out whether you came here to get me to talk you into representing Blair or to talk you out of it. Or maybe just to babble. I don't think you've babbled once in your life. I really appreciate it, honey. Listen, then, whatever you decide, good luck, because you are going to need that. You need to go back to Sin City, where you belong. Me and my Shane-saving bone marrow? him, Gigi. You're killing your own son! You are not my sister. I don't know who you are. I don't know who you are or, or what happened to you after I left, but I am not going to let you do this. You're making a big mistake. You're going to regret it. You asked God for a miracle, and he gave it to you. Now you're just spitting in his face. You're going to regret it. Do you hear me? You're going to be sorry, Gigi! I know what love is, okay? I I love Rex. That's why I'm doing this. I gotta make it right, the way it's supposed to be. Gigi's gonna see this. She's gonna see that it's the right thing. She's gonna get Rex to me. She has to. I just ran into Brody. He got tested, but he isn't a match. Hey, hey, hey. What's wrong? There has to be somebody out there. Anybody? Th th there is. We just haven't found them yet. 
just have to have a little faith. Oh, God. A part of me just wishes that I just listened to you and that I had never gone down this road, but now that we have to... Sweetheart, look, we have to see this through, okay? We gotta tell Jessica, Star, Michael, Marcy, everyone. We have to tell them to... Hey, guys. Tuned for scenes from the next One Life to Live. On the next One Life to Live. Matthew hasn't really felt like seeing anyone. I want to see him. Your baby died. You're lying. No. I'm done with Todd Manning. Jack and Sam might want to live with you, but I never will. 